So I started having trouble way back in high school. And then it would flare up and I would get along with it and it kept getting worse and worse and worse. And I found myself modifying what I was doing and I couldn't walk as fast. If the family was out somewhere, I was way back somewhere. And my sons were suggesting I needed a scooter maybe to keep up with them. And so it just kept getting worse. And I have a little farm and I was having trouble climbing on and off the tractor and doing things. And so finally, uh, I went to see Dr. D'Onofrio and uh, uh, the x-ray technician who happened to be somebody I knew said it looked pretty bad, and it was. And so uh, I was scheduled for my surgery, and as it happened, several of my friends had knees replaced around the same time. And so uh, I was really ready for it. I mean, I, I could see it hurt all the time. It really was limiting what I could do. So anyway, I came in and had my surgery, and that was the end of that pain. I mean, literally, that day. And uh, I kind of woke up, and the discomfort after surgery was negligible. Uh, they got me up and moving right away, and the care was great. The nurses were wonderful. The therapists, uh, you know, cut me no slack. They kept me going. And so I went home uh, a couple days after that. The rehab uh, at the, uh, our facility uh, was wonderful. And then again, they told me that while they might not be having any pain, I was going to get better regardless. And so I was back at work in three weeks. Now, not lifting and carrying a lot of things, but back at work at the hospital. And so uh, the experience uh, was great. Truly, not, not painless, but the discomfort was very manageable. <clears throat> Didn't need to take a lot of medicine. Took almost no medicine after I went home about, for pain. And it was just, it's gone great and absolutely no discomfort of any kind with that knee since that time. And my other knee is really good, or I would have had that done already, too. You want to find people who can do what needs to be done and do it right and do it well and be pleasant. And, you know, my doc, I pick my doctor because they're really good, because when I'm their patient, I'm their patient. I don't, I forget about being a physician. I just pretty much do what they tell me. And uh, it's the same thing, you know, for an electrician at your house or anything else. And I mean, and being around the hospital, uh, and I was told this back in 1961, actually, when I was working in the lab, when I was in college, that by somebody who had, was new to the community at the time, they had never seen in one place so many really good doctors. Well, that's been true for years and years, and it's true now. And so uh, for the things that we do here, we do so well that I wouldn't go anywhere else. If it's done here, I would have it done here. Why would I want to go anywhere else to get, to get the kind of care that is A1? The outcome is fantastic. The numbers are wonderful. You know, why would I go anywhere else? I know people. Uh, I know they're not going to, they're going to make sure that I do what I need to do, you know. And the proof of the pudding is in the success rate. And, uh, and people do treat you well here. I mean, it's, there's that compassionate care that truly is. Uh, I've, I mean, many, many people that I know, I've lived here long enough to know a lot of people, and when they're here, you know, they always tell pretty much the same story, that everybody takes really good care of them. And so this is, uh, you know, where I would want to be.